UConn Huskies. Randy Edsel, my friend, uh, did not play last year. Returning production numbers do not matter. Because um, <laughs> nobody played. Because they did not play. Is what it is. So in 2019, they went 2-10. Uh, that was their first year as, or, or was that... Was that their first year as an independent? Or were they yeah. still in the AAC at that point? 2019? 2019. I cannot no, they, remember. They, they were independent. Okay. It was 2018 was their last year. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Um, SP Plus has them projected as the number 127 team in the country. There's only 130. That should give you a little bit of an idea. UConn is projected by SP Plus to go 3-9 and nine this year. FPI has them going 2-10. and 10, And the win total, of course, sits right in between at 2.5. The over is minus 105. The under is minus 125. Um, they bring back the core of that 2019 team that got a magical two wins. Uh, Edsel appears to be kind of starting to build a culture, I guess, a little bit. Um, buy games make the schedule impossible. I mean, just impossible. Uh, they play at Fresno State. They play Purdue. They play at Army. They play Wyoming. They play Vanderbilt, and they're expected to lose to them by two touchdowns. That should yep. tell you something. Um, they they do play Yale, like they they play Holy Cross and they play Yale, and they play UMass and they play UMass. So so can you get to three? The the chances of them winning all three of those is not impossible, but it's I'm not taking it. Great, I'm going over. I'm an I'm a Randy Edsel believer, baby. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, I'd probably go over as well, considering that. Do you see their November schedule? Well, yeah. At Clemson, at UCF, and, at Houston. and then Houston. <laughs> I'm going over. Well, I'm yeah, because we got to have my over covered. But that by, might be. The, but that might be the three by middle of October. Yeah, that might be the three. I mean, there's I a agree. world where they just lose to UMass and Yale. I mean, it's entirely possible. <laughs> there's a world where they beat Vanderbilt, though. Well, that world exists as well. So uh, it's not likely we're gonna but. we're we're getting to UMass here. I'm gonna go in a little. Our boys from. The Yahoo College Football Podcast. Yes. They believe, and I agree with them, by the way, that we should dismantle both this team, UConn, and UMass, and and they should combine them because they're only like 45 minutes away yeah. from each but other. But is it uh, uh, New England United? Yeah, and they should call them U- New England United, and they should just make one team with both of those schools, and then they would be more competitive. Now, they would be better than New Mexico State – but maybe not better than a lot of other people. So they might go from like the 127th team in the country to like the maybe the 115th. Maybe. Uh, so that could be. Maybe. That could be something. But your expenses go way down. That because is Because now you have two schools funding one football program instead of two. And two, two independent I know. football programs. So all uh, these it, chicks that you're getting. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is one good thing about this. I mean, when you go to Clemson, you go to UCF, you go to uh, Vanderbilt, you yeah. go to Army, Fresno right. State, you're getting, uh, you're Purdue. Getting checks, like, man. Yeah, you're getting checks in. You're getting checks. You're getting nice checks, too. It's not bad. Not bad. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.